So at this point, I don't know what planet am I on, ladies and gentlemen. There are a lot more peekaboos that are going around. We also apparently got receipts as well. So Dr. Disrespect was caught disrespecting a lot more people and uh, everybody's like talking about it and recently we also had doctor disrespect arrested rumors keemstar says i'm not joking that's what is being said right now and somebody's claiming that hey they saw doctor disrespect in handcuffs which i personally don't believe but maybe by the time this video comes out this is uh proven legit i don't know what's going on man and youtube is saying hey we're not gonna offer doc uh, any more streaming deal people are now saying that yeah like uh, they're probably gonna ban him which is just people saying all that and, and the, the biggest question that a lot of people had myself included is that did doc knew about when he was like messaging the minor right according to doc he was messaging the minor inappropriately did he know that it was a minor and reports are saying yeah oh, shit. Oh, shit. It, it was and it, it is crazy and i want to actually show you guys this video like this video for if you're playing messaging a minor inappropriately no matter who you are i'm not just talking doc i'm talking generally if you're saying like the video if you're saying it's it's bad don't message inappropriately especially sexually uh to to a minor just like the video if you think that's perfectly fine how uh, holy what are we talking man so yesterday we talked about a situation involving dr disrespect and his admission to inappropriate behavior online back in 2017 the twitch god himself not only cheated on his wife and family for that matter as you guys know i have a, a beautiful family Damn and a it. wife and kid and and now personally i don't want to i'm not anybody to judge that uh i'm not gonna judge that part because like he committed something of course uh, you cannot defend that he did that it's up to him and his wife and i guess uh, after that he was able uh, his uh, his wife was able to forgive him i guess this is why they're together i i, I yeah I, I don't know about that one i want to be transparent that i've been unfaithful but he was also chatting up someone else who was not of age. This resulted yeah. in his banning from Twitch. No one knew exactly- That that one is just indefendable, bro. Indefensible. And, and now something else came up too, right? ...why he got banned at first, including himself. And for four years now, it was a secret that was essentially locked behind a vault. But now NDAs are expiring, and you mm. have whistleblowers who used to work at Twitch, as well as high-ranking people in his now former gaming studio he co-founded, saying there were bad enough things going on in the background to terminate this man. So now many of his former- Yeah, right, and a lot of people are like, hey, we need to see- Yeah, first it was like, hey, did Doc know whether it was a minor or not? Well, apparently he knows. Oh, shit! Oh, yeah, crazy, man! What planet am I on? And, and right now, the question is seriously like, bro, like what what did he say exactly we we need to know we have one example because one person just came forward and exposed doc uh you're about to see the receipts here but then well pew uh the only question is that what did he say exactly in those chat logs right my friends and colleagues have spoken out against the popular streamer i guess it was really bad because his uh, partner business partner Robert Balling, this his own studio. You guys gotta understand that. Like, Midnight Society is Doctor Disrespect Studio, and he got fired from his own studio. What? What is going on? You you feel what I'm saying? Like that's that's insane. Obviously, I have a relationship with Doc. Uh, played golf a lot the last year. Um, come on, <clears> man. <throat> I mean, it's pretty much common sense how I feel about that. I've got a daughter now. I don't think it it takes a rocket scientist to understand that I don't support talking to people think that we're like best friends like we're hanging out I don't even know the guy outside of a wig we took one picture together and newsflash he was in a wig you know it's clear that he really did live up to his name disrespecting everyone from his family to his community and even himself well now the situation has taken yet another crazy turn as someone else has come forward with their story regarding Doc from that very same 2017 era. Man, Doctor disrespecting everybody. Doctor disrespect his wife, his kids, his reputation. Doctor disrespecting the age of consent as well. And so this tweet was actually posted as a reply on an already viral tweet about the initial allegation regarding the underage person. Where this individual comes forward to say, During that time in 2017 when he was cheating on his wife with not only me, a trans worker, but Man. also another woman, <gasps> and texting a minor. He was exploiting me by making me give him shows with the promise of partnership. We can Bruh. assume they're talking about a Twitch partnership there. After the shows, he went ahead and blocked me. And so the person's evidence here is going to come down to two message logs. 
One that allegedly went down in the Twitter DMs, and the other one appears to be on Skype where I suppose these alleged shows were going on. I do want to be completely transparent in saying these messages could be like digitally doctored, but the person would have to have some serious skills in computer graphics. Now I guess this is just their way of showing that these DMs did come from the legitimate doctor. Yeah, I, it's important to mention that we're, we're living in the, the end times right now, so uh, anything can be fabricated. Yeah, absolutely. But but still, like, this is coming after Doc has admitted to the allegations of, uh, keep in mind, messaging a minor inappropriately. Oh, that That's what Doc has uh, said. And, and now reports are coming out. He knew about that. He was messaging a minor. And Doc said that this was no problem. And he continued on. That's what we're hearing. This is the news. Not my opinion, guys. Like, listen, I, I wish this was not real as well. Like, yeah, man. Like, I, I don't want to... I, I don't want to see that crap go around, right? Like, leave the kids alone. Absolutely. From the left as well. The lefties, the wokies. Yeah, leave the kids alone. It applies to them as well. And it also uh, applies to people like doc as well and people that that do that crap right like yeah come on now man it's uh to disrespect twitter page as you guys can see at this time the doc actually had this person blocked but for those of you that aren't aware when you block someone on twitter that doesn't mean the dms just disappear and that other person will still have access to them until they decide to delete them on their end i also uh -oh. want to be clear in uh -oh. saying this person likely deleted some of their replies to him on this message thread but it doesn't really change the overall meaning of these messages. So it starts where he says, oh, stop it. We have to assume that this person said something to provoke that response. And they say, hi, doctor, how are you? Photo shoot tomorrow, too nervous. To which he says, well, 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 good luck. I'm gonna try to get some sexy cosplay images. Then after I can punish you. Oh yeah, how so? Don't know, have to get a good strategy, we shall see. To which Doc replies, ha. And then two hours later, okay, I guess he was feeling himself in more way than one, cause he says, I'm still waiting. Yeah, I'll think of one soon. Overwhelmed packing for tomorrow. Not sure a smooth black leather or latex. Don't know. And he says, nice. Feel like releasing one right now. I can imagine you guys know what he's talking about. Man, like, yo, doctor, come on, man. Man, he out here really playing the peekaboo game, though. Talking about? I have to assume that this person had sent Doc some sort of picture here. Mmm, yummy. And he says, should I let go or hold on? And I'm gonna let you guys use your imagination there. Actually, I guess you won't have to, because they say, let it go, spray it out. <laughs> and I guess the doc did, because it took him a whole 10 days later to reply, allegedly, where he says, I need something. What do you need, doc? I'm sure you have all these e-girls ready to serve you. LOL, no. Lies, uh-huh. Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, we, we need more context on this one, because it feels like a meme talk here as well. Not defending him, not accusing him. Uh, uh, I'm not also. I'm not bringing up the 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 uh, the fact that he was texting a minor inappropriately. I'm just like looking at this situation alone on its own, right? It feels like a meme talk. And um, if he was really sent pictures, and yeah, it looks like that he was, and uh, she deleted from the messages uh, to show us this. Okay, he or she. I, yeah, I, I I believe it was a brother that became a sister, changed gender. Like he 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 thought he was in a Call of Duty lobby. So switch sides like he was in a Call of Duty lobby. So brother became a sister right now. Uh, I'm yeah. There's you you cannot morally you cannot defend this because he 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 had a wife, pregnant wife. Morally not okay. But I mean that's uh, his personal life. Like I'm not gonna judge him for that. But what I'm gonna judge him for absolutely, bro. Like leave the kids alone, right? Like you don't go around doing that crap to the kids. That's where you draw the line and. No way. You gonna watch my explosive intro? Like at this point, no pun intended, you almost have to respect how much this guy really sticks to his bit. Because even in these alleged nasty DMs he was sending, he's still speaking like he would speak on the stream. The goddess must be worshipped from heaven. Yeah, th this is why I'm saying like, it seems like a meme talk. Like, so I'm not gonna judge him on this one. Y you feel what I'm saying? Like, head to toe before you can ex but it does look bad after all the stuff that has come out, right? So this is like another like another nail on the coffin kind of thing, right? But but make no mistake, like it feels like that he wasn't a character. Uh, and now it's like he's disrespecting his wife and kids, right? Like if he was really asking for like crap like that. But I mean, if he was a uh, what was the age of this person at the time? That also matters as well. If they were above the age of 18 plus. Uh, I guess it's uh, their their stuff, 
and then it's like Doc, right? Like, I'm not gonna judge him. And, and also Doc's wife as well, like, they're, they were in the situation, they can judge that, not me. Explode. I want the rewards. A couple days later, he sends her a little 255 can explode. Speaking like he would speak on the stream. The goddess must be worshipped from head to toe before you can explode. I want the rewards. Oh Couple man, okay now I see what he meant. Days later he sends her a little 2.55am message. They say hi hun, how are you? Daddy you need to shout me out and spoil me, thank you. Yeah that was never gonna happen. Okay so, but, but that's the thing though, he was kept on like asking though. You film say 3 in the morning? probably like sleeping next to his wife or something right and he asking for that but another thing i also gonna mention it could have these messages could be fake first of all secondly if they are real like he mentioned some messages could have been removed so context surely do matter in this one uh and i guess he really really uh played his role i guess in this one he was uh not putting his uh, uh what was this called uh his mask down right he was really in character there a month later, he says, just to add you on Snap. And then he also appears there to share his username. And I guess this is where connection was cut, which was also probably right around the time his wife found out he was cheating with someone else. Where they Holy. say, miss you, Doc. Thanks for unfollowing, stranger. And then like eight months later, they say, are you going to PAX East? To which I guess the Doc at this point was like, I got way too lost in the sauce. And he decided to block this person. This is where what appears... No, here's the thing. Like, like I said, like I would not judge Doc for... Uh like cheating on his wife morally not okay i we, get, we can all agree but that's between him and, and also his family his wife right uh, and uh here's the thing though so the, the and also mistakes can happen like that not defending it but if he learned from that mistake and he stopped like cheating on his wife afterwards and his wife forgave him that's between them and good on doc for you know what like uh, making a making a mistake but learning from the mistake and not committing that mistake again you know you feel what i'm saying but then it's like we are also now finding out about other crap that went down too so to be skype dms also come in as you guys can see these are also dated back in the 2017 era and these get even oh uh, that was cursed this was a cursed era holy man I, uh, yeah this was a cursed Crazy. era so he says i had to watch one more time we can assume they had had some sort of little video session i tried to snap you did you delete your account yes okay feels bad okay did this happen like after he you feel what i'm saying i don't think so so it says may 9 2017 any scientists here guys Pull up, pull up the data records. Uh, did this happen after he uh, apologized for cheating on his wife or or before? Yeah, because like the two times be like, hey, I want to be a three time. I want to be a four timer and all that. This is this is crazy, bro. Guys, I always say control your dragons, bro. Control your BBCs, control your BWCs, LBCs, LWCs. I don't care. I don't want to know what you got. But like control that dragon. Your D can lead you to dangerous places, man. The, yeah, example right here, if this is true. If this is true sorry i would try to video chat you soon i'm heading to the gym gotta get fit but don't be a stranger message me sometime you gotta get some photos sent your way to which he allegedly replies i mean i'm gripping now boom i mean if this is all true this guy has some serious issues nice firm grips while i worked out yum and i guess this is where the twitch partnership talk comes into play hey love uh -oh. do you know anyone you're close with that could see if they could get me a twitch partnership he replies later that day saying hmm i tried they are pretty locked down right now focusing on popular games and impact of streamers on those games unfortunately i kind of stopped playing games and been doing irl i guess they say they're trying to see where one month doing that gets them and they also mention here that getting a twitch partnership is very difficult and the funniest part here is after all that, his response is, Any new peekaboos? Ah, <laughs> oh, man, we, yo, this is what I was talking about, bro, what? <laughs> man, stop, stop with the peekaboos, bro. Stop, what the hell with the peekaboos? All of this peekaboo got you here, bro. Man, you should have controlled that dragon, bro. Man, it can lead you to dangerous places, man. Like, there, yeah, grandma always said, grandma always said, man. Not mine, not mine. Somebody, I saw that quote on the internet, okay? Like, come on now, man. Bruh. <laughs> God. And then to add more fuel to this fire, because the internet is forever, this person also had tweeted out back in 2017, you know, around that same sick era. 
Met this handsome legend at Dr. Disrespect. No, 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 At TwitchCon. I mean, I don't know what we- I thought it was a Photoshop image. You know, like, they're like, you see a cut here? Like, that's a thumbnail, right? YouTube thumbnail. And I saw this line here as well. And I thought this was like, you know, just put together of two people. But not like real image. That was a real image. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's going on? And then you got Doc's description, that Twitter thing, right? Like, uh, let me actually put my face cam on the other side here. The most ruthless athletic competitor in video game history, 12 a.m., who they fired, which is just wild, bro. Holy crap. On with that year. But the doctor was apparently just wilding on a whole nother level. And of course, now that this person has come forward, you have a lot of people saying, well, why didn't they speak up before? Oh, yeah. they must just be looking for attention. And I yeah. mostly do agree with that. This person Absolutely. is likely trying- Absolutely. It's one of those things, right? Like, you're, you're uh, hitting the man when he's already down right now. You're like trying to go for the kill here, right? Shitty behavior, absolutely. And, and here's the thing though, was she or he, I don't know, man, they changed sides, right? Like, I don't know what they were before. I guess a brother now became a sister. So yeah, he, it's a he, right? Yeah. So I, I, I mean like, did, was he 18 then or not? Because if he was 18 then, bro, like it was your, it was your doing. It was your mistake that you committed back then. Okay, like it was your mistake. It was uh, definitely your mistake. You cannot blame Doc for that. Uh, but, d but I'm not defending Doc here either. It's like pretty shitty to have a pregnant wife and you cheating on her and also like doing all that on the side as well. But, but again, like I'm not judging him. I'm simply saying it is. It, it doesn't fly with me. Maybe it does fly with some people, but not with me. So pretty shitty but that part is between him and his wife and all that right but if you were 18 then dog you cannot blame doc for that bro like you cannot put your on faults and on doing in this case sending your pictures in that absolute disgusting manner to somebody else hoping that you get a twitch partnership right like you, you guys see what i'm saying you agree you disagree let me know i, I want to definitely hear your thoughts on it too trying to capitalize on this situation to get some people to migrate over to their Twitch stream or their little pretty, pretty dirty shitty, side yeah. or whatever they might be doing. But two things can be true at once and to me it really just shows that this rabbit hole is getting a little bit deeper and I almost don't know what's gonna jump out next. I mean this guy was so reckless and so out of control that he went on his personal Twitter page, he went on his personal Twitch and was chatting people through those platforms that's how man, stupid he was man. like you would think if you're gonna move like a degenerate you would at least have a better game plan than that and try to cover some of your bases i don't know i just think the whole situation is crazy it i'm is. pretty sure at this time he was already like 35 years old and it's just like yeah seven years ago man holy crap bro like man this guy really disrespected everybody and he's still in character he's still in character there <laughs> But this time, of course, like, he got tuxedo there, but still got gaming mic, glasses, that mustache, I believe that's real. Uh, was, is it fake? But fake wig, right? Fake wig, yeah. Mustache probably real, I don't know. Like, dude, you have this beautiful wife, you have this beautiful yeah. family, and you're allegedly doing all this dirt in the background? It's just crazy mm, to me. Yeah. My brain truly cannot compute how someone with so much to lose could make these mistakes over and over again. But I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you? Yeah, guys, check out this video on the screen because apparently they're saying that Doc is getting arrested. Nick Merckx also responded on it as well. And we have like a Twitter, just Twitch, Twitch and blowout. Check out this video on the screen. If you have already seen it, then check out the video on the left. We had some good news about PlayStation 5 Pro and PS3 apparently. Uh, yeah, I think you're going to enjoy it because this is pretty dark.